Welcome to the Forexation YouTube channel. I'm going to show you guys how to set up coding for PineScript within Visual Studio Code. Um, reason why you'd want to do this is because personally, I like to use an actual text editor. Um, there's some shortcuts and stuff that um, typing within the Pine uh, editor you just don't get. Now they did update it, so I haven't coded within since the update. So they, they did, they did, uh, there's some updates. So now it makes typing a little easier, but I like it on a full screen and I'll show you why. I could look at the chart fully. So like say I added the code and I'm looking at it on the chart. I could visually see it off on my, my smaller screen while I'm typing on my main screen. And it makes it easier for me to just work because if uh, I'm constantly doing this to get uh, full screen then back down so I could see it then full screen um, it's much easier just to control C control V and then I see it so I could just do that right control A um, control C control V right and then minimize it again now I got my full screen so let's uh, set up so you're gonna download Visual Studio Code uh, you just Google search, it'll be like the first link. Uh, you'll download that, and um, this is what you're going to see. It might say, like, welcome version, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> so to get it set up for PineScript, what you're going to do is extensions. You're going to type in PineScript, or just Pine is enough. Um, I had this one originally. Um, I downloaded this V5 just to make sure it's um, working with version 5. Uh, and then I did the Pine Editor themes, so I could get it to look more like um, how PineScript is. So I am right now on the Pine Editor Dark. So once we get this installed, you just click Install right here. And then um, what we're going to do is click the files up here. Now you could open a folder if you already have like a folder where you're going to save all your projects. Or just File New. Now you're going to select a language. Now we have PineScript, and when you work with PineScript, you got to define the version you're on. So we're on version five, and then you also got to do this top line as well. So um, pretty much this whole top part I could copy, and you just edit it to uh, work with your scripts. Obviously, I would delete this, describe what my script's doing. This is just default when you make a new script in Pine Editor, so I always put that in there, just kind of, it's like a little copyright stamp, public license, all that stuff. And then you're going to define the version, and then this kind of sets off, we're doing an indicator. Uh, this is the full name, the short title that you'll see within right here. Uh, and then you could go ahead and type out your code. So the color theme I'm using, um, if you want to know, is um, pine gray. That gives the most contrast, I believe, from the colors. And um, this is kind of how PineScript was before they edited it. Um, once they did this update, I like the way the um, coloring looks within PineScript. But... Uh, there's no color theme that identically matches that. So for me, this is enough contrast between everything. So nothing kind of blends in where some of the other themes, um, they were kind of blending in together. So that is how you set up Visual Studio Code to work with PineScript. So now I'm doing all my typing. Control A, Control C. Bring this over, and boom, we're in. And then you just save it here, save, add to chart, boom. Now you can see. Hope that helped you out setting up a code editor to work with PineScript and um, have all the uh, syntax highlighting kind of work with all the variables and the, the lines and the text and just help 
kind of work with that. Um, you could use the default uh, theme. That is perfectly fine. Whatever works for you. Um, like I said, PineScript used to look like this setting before they updated it. So I'm sure they'll um, release a new theme for it soon. But I hope you guys enjoy this. We're going to start doing some coding videos in the future um, on making strategies work with PineScript. And we're going to start doing uh, different versions. And if you are in on our Discord server, or if that's not out yet at the time you're watching this, um, join the email list and we'll, we'll send you the folder with all the coding files so you could add them to your own trading view charts and use the strategy and set up alerts and start trading with them if they work with you so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe hit that like button and we'll see you in the next video peace